foam is the, in my opinion, one of the last things in the recycling stream. Foam is used in packaging, and unfortunately, it has a very bad rap. The foam is expanded polystyrene. It is 98% air. It's 100% recyclable. What our company does is we take the air out of it. Uh, we compress it. Once the air is removed, it's considered polystyrene, which is then used in consumer products like picture frames, door moldings, CD cases, coffee cup lids. It gets repurposed and repurposed as it's recycled. For me, this is a challenge. What, what I enjoy the most is creating the mechanism of the how. How is the machine built? What does that look like? How do you stand the squeak? That sound? You wear earplugs. The, the squeak is tolerable. What, what is the challenging part is coming home with those little tiny little beads and having those through the house. <laughs> between corporate responsibility that companies like London Drugs are initiating. There is a choice now. It's a very convenient choice. They're the innovators. When you recycle your styrofoam, a quick rinse and take the tape off. That's all we need. So what London Drugs has created is with their, their understanding that this is the service that people want, they're creating massive awareness which allows companies like Foam Only to to create the next solution of the waste stream. Our next generation doesn't need a big pile that they inherit. 